Hello, this is Amanda Alexander from CoachingMums.com and today's video blog is about worry and specifically how to bust your worry and how to stop worrying. Okay, so worry, what is it? It's a form of fear and fear is probably the most debilitating emotion you can have. Great little tip when you start feeling afraid of something. Fear Think of it as an acronym. False expectations appearing real. F-E-A-R. And that's what fear usually is, false expectations. And worry as a symptom of fear is very, very similar. I have found over 10 years of coaching working mums that worry is a major defining factor of any mother we tend to worry about our children and if we're not worrying about our children we feel as if we should be worrying about our children we worry that we're not doing it right we worry that um, what other people will think of us worry 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 and um, before i became a coach i i pretty much had the gold medal in worrying ask my mother if you don't believe me i was a natural born worrier what i did don't know why just did lots of people are like that since I became a coach I've still worried but a lot less and, I, and part of that is it is naturally the self-development that comes with being a coach you learn things you learn about yourself and you you start to examine the the things that don't make you happy and you start to look at uh, what you can do about those so I'm pleased to say I have the holy grail of how to stop worrying. Now remember, any technique, anything that you do to change your behaviour needs practice. You can't just do it once. You'll default to your normal behaviour. It's like it's like becoming fit. If you stop doing it regularly, then you'll become a big fat lump again. You have to keep doing it. Right, so here is my four-step process for conquering worry. Get yourself a piece of paper. First of all, really, really good to write your worries down on a piece of paper. Draw a line down that piece of paper. What you're going to do is on the left-hand side of the left-hand column of your piece of paper, you are going to write down exactly what you're worried about. Be really specific and really clear and go into as much detail as you want uh, about that worry. Once you've identified the worry, so step one is identifying your worry, the second thing is to get really miserable. We're going to look at the worst case scenario. So what's the worst possible thing that could happen to you, to your life, if, if this worry comes true? This is a technique I used to use in my former life as a project manager. I used to do a lot of risk management. And what we do with any risk, a risk identified as something that might happen to cause the project to fail or to falter, we'd look at the risk and then we'd look at what would be the outcome of that, uh, what would be the impact of that, of that risk happening. So essentially, you're looking at that worry and looking at, OK, so what if it does happen? And again, like a project manager, you, you look at what are you going to do if it does happen. So step one, identify the worry. Step two, what happens if that worry comes true? What's the worst that can happen? Will you lose your life? Will you lose your house? Will you lose your relationship? Will you lose your kids? What's the absolute worst that could happen? Step three is to look at what you can actually do to stop that from happening. In project management and risk management terms, we call it risk mitigation. So what can you actually do? Brainstorm all of the things that you can do to stop that, that worry from actually coming true. Now, as you brainstorm what you can do to stop worry, what you'll find is actually a lot of things you don't have to do. And you realise as you pick that worry apart that it is just something that's come from your mind and that is what a worry is. It's a story that you've told yourself. But brainstorm what you can do about the worry. Step four is take action. But of course it is. Once you've got all your actions, you've brainstormed in your step three as to what you can do to stop that worry from coming to pass. Just start getting on with it to stop yourself worrying. 
wor action, action is the enemy of worrying. And another good tip if you're worrying is to distract yourself, change your state. So stand up, shake, do a silly dance, sing, scream, go out for fresh air. But taking specific action that addresses that worry will dissipate the worry. Now take these four steps with every single worry that you have and remember to keep taking these four steps, keep practicing. Just like going to the gym, just like any exercise program, you've got to keep doing it. It's like anything in life. If you if you stop stop doing it, then then you lose the technique, you lose that habit. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful and I hope that you stop worrying. And I've got something for you and it's something a little bit special. I created many years ago for my working mum clients a wor worry workbook. A worry workbook. I'd like to offer you the worry workbook if you are a worrier. And you can have it whoever you are if you're watching this and you're a worrier. So what you need to do to get the worry workbook is to go to this page coachingmums.com slash worry busting that's coachingmums.com slash worry busting on that page you will simply put your name and email into the boxes on the page and then you'll get a little email to ask you to confirm that you want to receive the worry workbook and once you've clicked to confirm then you'll automatically be sent it by the magic of technology and what I'll also do is I'll keep in touch with you and I will send you my musings and rumblings and tips every Friday they're written by me a working mum for you as a working mum we'll address all sorts of things from worry to guilt to career, to domestic stuff, all of the stuff that you deal with week in, week out. I'll help you with, I'll provide you with tips and a bit of light relief. So I look forward to getting to know you and I hope you enjoy the Worry Workbook. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.